Ah, right, yo. We got a special, special video. Y'all been waiting for it. Y'all been asking me, Jelly, the 4K Q and A. Where? I got you. Chill out. We right here. Let's get it rolling. See a roly, I get it stolen. Took the walk to fucking Poland. Shoot your mains and now he folding. Parked illegally, now you towing. Oh my god! Bro, I just spit bars so hard. I woke my cat up from my bed. Sammy, bring your ass. Where did she go? First, we're gonna do the YouTube comment questions. And then we'll get to the Discord questions. You feel me? So, yeah. Alright, so first question we have here. Carrie asks, How'd you get into Overwatch? And can I get some avocado and jelly? Um, I got into Overwatch around 2017-ish. It was because my friends started playing it. And they're like, yo, you guys should get Overwatch. The game's actually fun. And so I looked into it and I was like, you know what? Fuck it. I might as well buy it. You know, I'm... At this time, I'm in middle school. I wasn't doing anything else in my life rather than just going to school, coming home, watching YouTube videos, and playing video games with my friends. Like, I was doing nothing else in my life. So I was like, fuck it. I might as well. I got the game. I actually didn't like it at first. So I got it and then I didn't play it for a couple months, actually. Probably like four or five months. And then, um, at that time, I was playing a lot of BO3. So I would play a lot of BO3, and then as my side game, I'd play Overwatch. And then Call of Duty started going really, really downhill ever since BO3, at least in my opinion. So I kind of shifted away from the genre because I really didn't like the direction the game was going in. So I started playing Overwatch, and, uh, yeah. But I will say, though, this new Call of Duty, way better than, um, the previous Call of Duties, 100%. And yes, you can get some avocado and jelly. This, no, this isn't water, not a, this is avocado and jelly right here. Here you go, drink up. Get, it, get, get in your mouth, come on. Open up! Open up! Fuck, I got water on my mic. Oh, shit. Can you guys hear me? Fuck, I hope I didn't fuck up my mic. Dog, I just spilled water directly onto my mic. Look, it's dripping. It's dripping. Luffy VR asks, do you remember me? And I need some tips on Overwatch. I remember m most, if not all people that regularly comment on my videos or people who are regularly active in my Discord. I remember everything. I did do a Lucio tutorial a couple days ago. And actually, it's my most viewed video right now. So if you want to, if you haven't seen that, you can go check it out. Her Harvey Danielle says, I know this is a very basic question, but I've heard a lot of opinions from my friends. If you could choose to be any Overwatch hero IRL, who would it be and why? Lucio. Because people already say that I'm Lucio IRL, so I might as well at least fit the stereotype. Cater asks, Why did you decide to start making content? Slash, what is your video editing process? Love the vids, and I've been binging them. I appreciate that a lot. I appreciate you um, supporting my videos and, you know, just being a W viewer. I decided to start making content because I just enjoy it, you know? I felt like it was something that I would enjoy doing, you know, since I already love playing video games, and I love entertaining people it's one of my personality traits it's basically just those two things i enjoy playing video games and i also really enjoy making people laugh and entertaining people so i just combined them in one and here we are my video editing process is actually i've never had somebody ask this question but i appreciate this question because i really enjoy this question there first of all my video editing process takes four fucking ever it takes about three to four hours every day this is a grind and that's not even counting uh the fact that i have to upload a tiktok clip and sometimes i can't find a good clip from my video so i have to do it manually we're not even taking that into account usually this shit takes about five hours a day but my video editing process for my YouTube videos is basically my first wave of editing. I basically just get the clips. So I get the funny moments and I get the things that I want to put in the video and I just put it together for 10 minutes or however long the video is. And then I go back and I basically do the adjustments to all the clips. So like my, when I zoom in, when I zoom out, um, I'll mess with the audio. And then the third wave, I basically just review it and I do the minor edits. I'll add some funny clips here and then and stuff like that. That's that's pretty much my editing process. Sushi asks, are you going to release a Lucio tutorial? Bruh, he did that two videos back. <laughs> Nico, maybe, asks, how do you play support and unironically have fun? I could never. Well, the main reason is I play Lucio and I don't really consider Lucio support at all. I play Lucio and I basically accidentally heal. That's exactly what I do. If I'm, if I'm weak, I'm amping myself, and guess what? If you're around me, you just happen to, you just happen to be lucky at that time. Hugo Tranguis. What will you do when you reach 100k subs, and how would you celebrate? Um, uh, when I reach 100k subs, I'll probably make an OnlyFans. Honestly. I'm gonna just leave it at that. I'm gonna, I'm not even gonna say if I'm playing or not. I'm not gonna say if I'm playing or not. Just, I wanna implant it in your mind that if I reach 100k subs, we may make an OnlyFans. Hugo Tranguis asking, not a question, 
Uh, can we see your hair when it is washed? Because you said you do not wash your hair. Make Sahara moist. What in the name of God? My hair would literally look the exact same. Except it would be very frizzy and it would look like an afro. It would not curl because it would be so dry. Which is why I don't wash my hair a lot. I wash my hair like once every two or three weeks. Because if I were to, if I were to wash my hair, every even every single week, my hair would get too dry. One of my turtle's names. My turtle's names are Crush, Squirt, and Playboy Cardi slash Franklin. He has two names. You know what? I'll fucking pull him out. This right here is Crush. Yep, he's a cutie. He's my biggest turtle. He's All of these turtles are about the same age. It's just this is a female and the females are always a lot bigger. It's about one years old, two years old. This is Squirt. He is the second biggest turtle. Say hi. And this is Playboy Cardi slash Franklin. He is the smallest one. He's a little cutie and he's a lot more shy than the rest. Look, that's you. <laughs> I love you. The turtle God, if I see you with a plastic straw, your life is over. Batman75 asks me, how long did it take you to master Lucio? Um, I would say about two to three years. But in those two to three years, I wasn't only just playing Overwatch the whole time. And I still don't think I haven't fully mastered Lucio either. Jack Golf asks, why did you stop streaming on Twitch? <laughs> um, I never really started. <laughs> I stream on there very, very occasionally. When I'm just in the mood to stream. When I just kind of like, I'm chilling and I just kind of want to stream and like do something. Do it, but it's not something that I have a schedule for. It's not something that... I would consider myself a streamer, basically, is what I'm saying. St. Joshua asks, when the OnlyFans dropping? 100k! That's all I'm gonna say. 100k. Dalsony's question is, will I put you in the Q&A video? I don't know, will I? I don't know if you will. Dalsony? I really don't know if you will! I, re I really don't know if you will. I guess we'll find out. Won't we? Aussie Bear asks, for the Q&A, do you put anything in your hair? I have curly hair and I can't get it like that for the life of me. So these right here are the four main products that I use. All right. Like I said, I don't wash my hair, but every other day I use this, which is a curl quenching and conditioning wash. It won't dry out my hair, but it does get a nice clean wash while also hydrating my curls. And then I also use this which is a leave-in conditioner. These two are basically what I use every single day. And then occasionally on special occasions, if I'm feeling fucking zesty or something, I use this curl and style milk, which is just a style. And this is a curl enhancing smoothie, which basically makes my hair curlier. For the most part, my hair is just like this because it's just my genetics. If you could pick one dude to be your boyfriend, who would it be? Uh, this kid named Josh. If y'all don't know who Josh is, you must be a new sub. Twitch.tv slash Manamark. That's all I'm gonna say. Wilson Fluffles asks, who is the best character for a new player to learn the game? Um, that's a very good question, actually. I would say probably in the DPS role, definitely Soldier. He's the easiest. To focus a lot on just learning the game when you play Soldier. A very simple character, kind of like Call of Duty style. Just shoot and get good positioning and then heal when you're low. Um, on the tank role, I would say maybe Ryan. I don't really play tank a lot, so I don't really know what tanks are the best to learn. And then support... I would say Lucio is very good to learn the game. Anna, she's very, very difficult for new players. She is really good to learn the game. And um, if you really want to just play on easy mode, you can play Mercy. We'll call it a draw. Asks, are you doing November? I do not participate in November. I'll tell you that much, bro. I'll be. I'm sorry. That was so weird. I apologize for all the children watching me. Dojin asks, best slushy slash icy flavor? Uh, Coke. The fuck out of here. If you say anything else besides Coca-Cola slushy, I will also accept cherry flavor cherry flavor or coca-cola flavor if you say anything besides that i'm gonna need you to click off the video and unsub i'm kidding please don't unsub i really i need my sub I'm kidding stop don't do it marvin shaw says you meditate if your chakras are swimming off the tapestry also congrats on 4k already thank you i appreciate it and um yes how the fuck did you see that you're in my house oh it's a fucking mirror <laughs> I do meditate i'm into meditation i'm into spirituality and um you know bettering myself bettering my soul bettering you know the earth in general i'm all into it y'all can't see it but i have my incense over there my closet i use as a meditating room honestly i wouldn't consider myself any religion honestly i mean i would consider myself a spiritual person i wouldn't really consider myself a religion because in from my experience growing up super catholic a lot of religion is for me was just rule sets like you have to do this or you're not catholic and stuff like that and i just don't really believe in that. my personal opinion i think a lot of religion is made for made to just control people but that's just me that's how i see it Rustin reeks asks who inspired you to make content and do you have any tips for new content creators i would say my biggest inspirations for making content are definitely xqc is up there the beast is up there a little bit jev is up there a little bit but um yeah honestly i find inspiration from 
a lot a lot of content creators almost all but my tips my tips for new content creators would probably be if you really want to succeed you got to have a lot of confidence in being yourself because i know a really good majority of people who want to be content creators they they stream and they do their content but they don't do it confidently like they'll just sit on the game and they won't talk and then when somebody joins they'll be like oh hey how you doing you know they won't be truly themselves i would say you really have to be truly yourself and be confident in it and you also got to accept that it is a grind it is a slow grind and you got to learn to uh you know enjoy that process because i remember going crazy when i first started making content for about the first couple of months i was seeing absolutely zero progress like i'm pretty sure i got 15 subs in a span of like three months and it was really demotivating because i just wanted the i just wanted the growth now and fast and i didn't want to wait hey y'all um i have a bit of a story to tell you now remember when i spilled that water on my mic roll the clip please flashback open up open up fuck i got water on my mic oh dog i just spilled water directly onto my mic look it's dripping it's dripping end of flashback i'm not too sure but i'm about 80 to 85 percent positive that that me spilling that water on my mic somehow fucked up my microphone and it actually broke so I had to go to Best Buy and buy a new mic. This was my old mic. Now this is my new mic. This is you, and this is the guy she tells you not to worry about. I actually didn't know this mic was gonna be this big when I bought it, because it had it came in the same box, so I thought it would be the same size, but apparently. Number 14 asks, basic question, but do you still hate Roadhog mains? Um, yes. Even when I'm 45 years old watching baseball with my son, I'm still gonna hate Roadhog. P. Key asks me to gritty. Y'all want to see the greatest gritty of all time? Just look no further. Hey, hold on! I gotta take the hoodie off. That's the problem. I got y'all. Dude, this is bad. <laughs> what the fuck was that? <laughs> okay, guys. I apologize that you had to witness. The atrociousness of what I just did. The real Slim Shady asks, How old am I and do I have any siblings? I am 18 years old. My birthday is January 5th, 2004. And I have two older brothers. One of them is, I think, 28, 29. And the other one is like 35, 34. We all live, and we all live in the same house. Astro Cucumber says, As you mentioned Walter White a lot, what is your favorite show? My favorite show is indeed Breaking Bad. Frito the Frog asks me what the best race is. Um, Michael Moran asks, do I follow sports like soccer, basketball, or football, etc.? I don't, I don't follow sports, but uh, my favorite sport to watch and play is basketball. But I wouldn't really consider myself to be a fan of any sport, even esports. I don't really enjoy it that much. Bocat9 asks, can I go Super Saiyan? You know what? Let's find out. Did it work? Listen to me right now. You're lying if you... Ow. What the f You are lying if, as a kid, you have never tried to go Super Saiyan before. I just want to point that out before y'all start fucking judging me. Michael Moran asks, What is the name of my outro song? It is so good. It is actually made by one of my friends, Jay Bando. He makes music himself. So if you enjoy my outro music, go check out his 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 music as well. But, um, It's called New Series, made by him. The link is in the description of all my videos. Dan X Gaming asks, What is my body count? Um, Are we talking about sex or... Brett's 001 asks, would I ever start making my videos 15 to 20 minutes long? Probably not. As is, my videos already take a long ass time to edit. Well, making them 15, 20 minutes long would take double that amount. Meaning instead of four hours, now it would take fucking eight hours. And I don't think I have the energy nor time to do that. But I would be able to if I edited my videos less, but I wouldn't want to do that. Vistra underscore 501 asks, how does it feel to be my favorite bisexual YouTuber? Um, I don't know, because I'm not bisexual. <laughs> Sensei's Way asks, How long have I been doing content for? I have been doing content now for about a year. Maybe a year and a couple months. 
maybe a year and a half, something around those lines. Frito the Frog asks, best country? Well, this one I can answer without being racist, hopefully. I would say Dominican Republic. Not saying that because I'm Dominican. Okay, I am saying that because I'm Dominican. Sushi asks, why you so handsome? Makes me gay sometimes, not gonna lie. Uh, FSR Bori asks, when you do the little dance, why look like the chihuahua humping the air? <laughs> Bowen asks, do it fart? <sighs> it doesn't fart. It doesn't fart, bro. Wait, it does. Wait, it does. Did y'all hear that? I really, I really hope y'all heard that, bro. That would be so fun. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you for clapping. Thank you for clapping with me. It does indeed fart. Divera asks, does it bend to the left of the right? Neither, actually. My shit bends upwards. We don't do the left to right BS. We go. Mine goes like this. Mine is, first of all, mine is exactly six inches. I'll be the first one to say it. I'm not going, I'm not going to sit up here and lie and be like, oh, yeah, my shit's eight. Curves upwards. Like this. That shit got a hook on it. Anyway. That is going to be it for this Q&A. Thank, thank you everyone for asking any questions. I'm sorry if I couldn't get to every single question. There's just a lot of questions. But um, yeah, I appreciate every one of you. Thank you guys for 4K. It really does mean a lot. It's helping me get to where I want to be in life. And um, yeah, I guess that's pretty much it. That's it for the 4K Q&A. 5K Q&A, we got something special. That's all I'm going to say. We may have a special guest. Maybe, maybe not. All right, but um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I want you to be mine. I need your heart and I need your love. I'll give you all the chains I got and rings don't pop. My heart be like a 40 Glock and sending shots. I'm afraid of all the changes.